Let's just do the forecast. How Let's about do that? It. Yes, all I right. agree. Warm, sunny, and dry as we head through the next few days. 70s continue all week, and that's kind of a big deal this time of year. When it comes to this warm weather, this is the warmest fall we have ever seen so far. And it looks like this trend holds on. Average temperature about 65 degrees keeps us well above what is considered average this time of year. Overnight, we're falling back down to near 40, so uh, pretty. Uh, I can't talk. I forgot how to talk. All right, let me try this over. Overnight, we fall back down to near 40, which is pretty much where we've kind of been each and every night. This morning was one of our cooler mornings we're going to see in the next few days. But by tomorrow afternoon, we're back in the 70s, low 70s in eastern Washington, near 70 in north Idaho, and mid to upper 70s out in central Washington. The beautiful weather holds. It just hangs on. Now, today's forecast was 76 degrees. That is barely, excuse me, 74 degrees. That is barely shy of 76, which is the record high. Tomorrow, a few degrees shy, and you get the picture. This weekend, or the Friday, Saturday, that's from 2020. Remember how warm we got back in 2020? And then, hold on, I gotta, my, my hands are, anyway. Weather can <laughs> change quickly, and that's the motto I want you to remember, because 2020 we went from near 80 degrees, or in the 80s, all the way down to snow in just a matter of a couple days. We have a ridge of high pressure right now that's what's keeping us quite warm, and this nice ridge of high pressure is going to kind of remain in place. So as we head into the weekend, there really isn't any sort of change in the forecast expected. It's gonna stay warm, it's gonna stay sunny, and it's going to stay mild. It's just a mild trend. Mid 70s, both Saturday and Sunday, overnight lows fall into the mid 40s. All in all, not too bad, and long range forecast models say, hey, you like this week, you like the weekend, you're gonna like next week, because nothing really changes. You're going, oh man, how's he making this interesting? Oh, I haven't even gotten to the post-it note yet, just filled with stats. You ready for this one? Yeah. We have not seen a day below 65 degrees in 114 days. The record right now, 118 set all the way back in 1884. So by oh. the end of the week, we've broken that one. All right. I mean, we've made it this far. Might as well get the record, right? Yeah. All right, Jeremy, thank you very much.